Greetings, mind crafters, and welcome to another glorious day here in northern Vermont to listen to a Minecraft uh, podcast. Maybe we're calling this a video cast now. Not really sure. And then again, who really cares? We're all together talking about good stuff. My name is Kimberly Quinn, and there's, oh, there he is, Giovanni. And we are here today to have another discussion. And really what I want to talk to you about today is summer. It's officially summer. And obviously you'll watch this at all different times. We're not really supposed to say that because like you look, you look at these at night. You might look at this in the fall and all the, the contents, all this, it's all the same. It's all good, right? But I really kind of want to, that's kind of like the point today though. Because it's Memorial Day weekend and summer is a great, great time to reevaluate things and not that it isn't a good time, you know, 365 plus leap year, of course it is. It just seems, especially up here, when it's dark and cold at 3.30 in the afternoon, and when you wake up, so so basically, up here in the, in the northern Vermont in the winter, which you know I love winter, I'm a huge fan because I'm a skier, right? I just love the whole thing. It's skiing, it's the, the, the pristine the snow, it's, it's, it's all of it. I just absolutely love it. And the starry nights, blah, 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 it's just so good. However, it's not the easiest time, I think, to start something over or to reevaluate. It's just, it's a little tougher, you know, to get going versus the summer. And so Memorial Day weekend is traditionally the kickoff of summer, right? Where now it's okay to wear white. And that's the weirdest rule ever. Like the fashion police are going to come throw you in the pokey because you wore white two days before Memorial Day. I don't think so. You know, it's just kind of a weird rule. I think you can wear white whenever you want to wear white. Who cares? Um, Okay, where was I going with that? Okay, so so summer, instead of like in the winter when we're, we feel like you know, we get up and go to work and it's dark, we get home, it's dark, we start to feel like bats. You know, bats, ugh, they know I don't like them. That's why they circle me when I walk around here at night, which is not that often. Um, okay, and so, 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 okay, so now we got, we have the long days. The longer days we've got, it's just, a, it, it, you don't even need a happy lamp anymore because it's sunny, even in, even in northern Vermont, which I believe... Burlington, I think, is the is second to Seattle for cloudiness. In the summer, second or third, I'm pretty sure, we get so much. Look at the bluebird behind me. It's crazy. This is a great time to really ask yourself a few questions, right? Again, any time of year, good, but it's just easier, I think, now. Are you happy? Really ask yourself that. If you have the privilege of going into a woodsy spot, even if it's Central Park, that's just what I use because that's that's my area that I was originally from down there. Any major city has a park. Uh, or if you can just get out for a walk. And But the whole thing is to turn that phone off. I know it sounds around. Like, yeah, on your phone. Well, yeah, because I'm making a, a podcast and it's different. But the rest of the time, I actually have a rule for myself. I have 15 minutes per day social media. And you might think, how are you doing that? Well, I upload my these podcasts. I say happy birthday to a couple people, and I'm off. I get off of there. I have, a, I have a rule. But anyway, back to this. Are you happy? Are you really happy? And be honest with yourself. If not, why not? That's very important to know because as far as anybody can tell, this is not a, this is not a, life is not a dress rehearsal. This is the big game. You know, this is all about our life minutes, our valuable, valuable, precious life minutes. There is nothing more valuable than our life minutes, obviously. And as we, you know, become more seasoned, let's say, old is not as nice of a word. And at a fabulous 58, I can tell you that, uh, you know, there are fewer in front of me than behind me, obviously. And I was always a huge fan of valuing life minutes. Very nice, G. You know, it's interesting, a little sidetrack, because he's a golden retriever, right? But he's not totally aware of his genetics because he's oblivious to the ducks that fly around, which is very sweet. And he's not a fan of the deep. He prefers the shallow. He doesn't, not a big swimmer, which is funny. He just goes in the shallow to get himself, you know, cooler. Okay, so are you happy? If not, why not? Really dig deeply into that because this, this is huge. We were, we are meant to feel good. And obviously in a deeper level, we're meant to, we're put on this earth to learn how to love ourselves and everybody else better. We, I think we all know that. That is the whole point. You know, which is why adversity and why we grow and grow and grow and da 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 da. We are also meant to enjoy this ride, even with the curveballs and the stuff that happens. We are meant to, for the most part, most of the time, to feel good. So gravitate towards what makes you feel good. If you're not happy, why not? What are you not doing? Or doing, doing or not doing, that has you not feeling happy? Now, obviously, it's not like, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. 
You can have no, I'm not, yes, I am. But there's the whole middle. You can be happy, but not as happy as you'd like to be. So just ask that question. It's super important. It's more important than anything else you're doing today, actually. And then it elevated up a notch and ask yourself, am I fulfilled? Which is way different. Am I fulfilled? Am I on fire most days? Well, because obviously nobody's 100% happy, 100% fulfilled, most of the time, the high majority of the time, which means most of the day for most days, am I fulfilled? Do I feel like I'm in, a, in alignment? Do I feel like I'm doing what I was put on this earth to do? Am I, does my life have meaning? Does it have purpose? Am I living it? Am I living the life? And again, it doesn't mean that bad stuff happens. Of course it does. We're talking about most of the time and you know by how you feel because you just, you just feel in alignment. You feel like the world, like you have the world by the ass. Again, doesn't mean there aren't issues that come up with your job, career, calling, or whatever. Of course they do on occasion. Um, but mostly, though, you but you take, you're able, when, you're, when you're in alignment, you take all that stuff with stride because it still feels right. Like, okay, I got this little speed bump, but I feel like I'm on track. It's very, very, very important to ask yourself that. And so, and then, you know, really evaluate what you're doing with your life minutes. Am I consciously, con am I living deliberately? That's the question. There it is. Came straight out of the woods. Am I living deliberately? Because we all walk around making decisions all day long, right? We just do. And with either they can be active decisions where we're like, okay, this person really isn't working out for me as a friend. Maybe they're not, you know, they're not an evil demon, but it's just not a, a good fit. So why am I spending valuable life minutes you know, meeting this person for whatever, lunch and going out and part of whatever. I just can slowly, gently, with kindness, slide out of that. We can make passive decisions. Be like, oh, you know, because it just feels like too much to have to make changes like that sometimes. We we make a passive decision because we're still, we're still deciding. So we don't say anything, continue to blow a perfectly good bluebird of a Sunday like this. And then get resentful because... This was not a way we wanted to choose our life minutes. Instead of hanging out on the back deck with a good book and a lemonade on a day like this, which is good day for anything, except maybe skiing, right? But that's different. Um, on the back deck or uh, like we're having our daughter and her, her uh, partner, the chef, Nate the Great, over later. And that's a great use of our life minutes. But to just passively... Or, pa or passively offer to do something you know you really don't want to do. Somebody asks you to go, you know, volunteer. Volunteering is good. I'm a big fan of volunteering, right? I'm a big fan. If it's a day like this and usually you do lots of good stuff for people and you just plain don't want to because you work hard and this is like an ideal banner, stellar day to not passively, you know, get wrapped up in the guilt and the landing pad like we talked about in another video. Land in that guilt place because that's what you're conditioned to do. And, and then you've, you've caved into it, and then you, you're resentful later. Like, where'd that day go? Valuable life minutes you're not getting back, okay? So th these are super important things to ask yourself. Am I happy? Am I fulfilled? And how am I spending my life minutes? And then really take a look at that, because how we spend our life minutes each and every day turns, you know, and then day, and then there's another day, and then, and then it's a week, and then it's a month, and then it's a year, and that's your life. So it's really, really super important to ask yourself, are, you know, those three things. When the, and the third one of those, the life minute question, is really asking yourself, okay, am I happy, am I fulfilled, am I living deliberately? Am I living by my own, am I, you know, am I chasing down my own wishes? Am, am, I, am I actively engaged in my life most of the time? There is no bigger thief of life minutes than autopilot. It doesn't mean that those of us who are really on the mindfulness track and all that don't occasionally slide out into autopilot and you just got to reel yourself back in it's kind of like a, for me it's kind of like a like a two-year-old if i'm hungry angry sick or tired i won't be at my best and you just accept that that's part of life you're gonna have moments like that right the, the important thing is to is to recognize it and reel yourself back in because you want to have as little little autopilot in your life as is humanly possible. It just steals life minutes because only what we are actively engaged in, what we are attenuating to, which is a super sexy word for paying attention, is the only thing that makes it to long-term memory. Right, Giovanni? Yes. So basically, when you're zoned out on autopilot, 
those life minutes are going down the rabbit hole, never to return again. You're not going to have much, if any, of a memory of any of it. So basically, it's just like throwing them away. It's like, thank you for this big gift. Who cares? And throwing them away. Imagine? Cannot imagine. So those are the three things to ask yourself and, self and evaluate. I'm going to throw in a little chase or two. Just be, I didn't even plan this. Actually, I didn't plan any of it, to be truthful. Um, is, is when you ask yourself those three, three things, ask yourself that the twofold biggie, biggie question, how much of my day am I fully present? How much, what percentage? You know, is it 75% higher? Is it between 50 and 75%? Is it between 25 and 50%? Or are you hardly present at all? Ask yourself that because it, that is, that's the, also the percentage that is the same thing as how, how, how active in my life am I? How present in my life am I? It's really the same. It's like a synonym, okay? How much are you are you av available for yourself enjoying your life minutes? It's a little different than the last one, how you're spending them, but then ask yourself, how present are you, okay? And then the gratitude thing. How, how much time do I spend each day being grateful? Because gratitude is the master key to happiness. So do the percentage thing again. 25, between 25 and 50, 50 and 75, I am running with it that I'm spending more than 75% of my day being grateful, saying it, feeling it, just maybe in here, writing a gratitude journal, whatever. And then ask yourself those things as well because there's nothing more important, right, than, than our life minutes. And so summer, again, is just an easier time to, to do all this stuff. You can do it any time of year and it's always good, but... I mean, think of it. The, as we said, the, the days are longer. The veggies are all in season. There's lots of fun stuff going on. You don't have to shovel if you live in a place where there's, where there's a lot of beautiful snow. It's just easier. So now's a good time to get this momentum started with learning to live deliberately. Okay. This is Giovanni and myself signing off from Northern Vermont. Have a mindful day.